What's happening, YouTube? My name is Immortal Coil, and today we are going to be talking about this Rotten Tomatoes debacle. It seems that in light of the lack of sympathy for <laughs> or interest in Captain Marvel, that Rotten Tomatoes has disabled its uh, comment slash uh, rating system. Now this is horseshit for a number of reasons, um, much of which I don't really have to elucidate for you guys, but it's just funny to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Um, we live in a country, uh, America, if you live in America, um, if you live somewhere else and, and don't have these same freedoms, I'm sorry. Um, but in America, we have this thing called freedom of speech. It's the First Amendment. But when it disagrees with the House of Mouse, who is trying to treat their properties as separate from each other, Marvel is different from Disney Princesses, which is different from Star Wars. Even though they're all under the same production house, they are trying, at least uh, on the surface level, to maintain their own autonomy. But we all know what's going on. And they seem to have that same volleyball in play. Where, like, okay, I don't like this. So if you don't like this, and we made this... It's not our fault that we made this. It's your fault that you don't like it because you're a white, racist, misogynist, basement dweller. Which is fucking bullshit. Because... <laughs> Look at the Fandom Collective. Half of these people are like multiracial, multi-background motherfuckers. You know? Um, look at Geeks and Gamers. He employs uh, lesbians and people of color, and, and he doesn't toot his own horn about that, because he doesn't really fucking have to. But you start to see this, this pattern in a social culture, and it's sickening. And this is the reason that we're sounding off on YouTube, okay? It's not that we don't care about people of color or women or people who lean to the other side of the party than we do. We don't fucking care about that. You know what we care about? Bad storytelling. That's what we care about. Tell me a good fucking story, Disney. And I don't care what iteration of Disney I'm talking to. Tell me a good fucking story, Lucasfilm. Tell me a good fucking story, Disney princesses. Tell me a good fucking story, Marvel. Don't invade my entertainment with your fucking political idealization bullshit. Because you know what? We're not going to listen. We're literally not going to buy that. Okay, so go and sell that to somebody who gives a damn. Go sell some eyes to some Eskimos, because you know what? We're not going to buy that. We're going <laughs> to, at best, if you keep on doing shit like this, we're going to wait until it comes out on Redbox, and then we're going to watch it, and then we're going to laugh at it on our phone with our friends, or... We're going to procure viewing methods that are not conventional. Let's say that. Let's say that. Um, anyways, uh, this is just going to be a short video. Um, you know, like I'm saying, I'm in the middle movie and, and, and I can't show my face because I look ugly right now. And uh, yeah. And uh, you guys have all the right to laugh at me for that. So <laughs> we're going to wrap this up. Um, I want to give a quick shout out to my, uh, my buddies in the Fandom Collective.
Um, we are an extension of the Phantom Menace. Um, and we are continuing to carry the torch that has been lit by people like Geeks and Gamers and Comic Artists Pro Secrets and World Class Bullshitters. So if you're a tiny channel like mine, you want to get noticed, hit these guys up and, and make sure your content is on par, okay? You can't just, like, jump on and be like, Yeah, I hate Star Wars. Mm. Hit my bros up. They will promote you. They will give you comments. They will give you traction. And they will do it in a worthwhile way. My name's Immortal Coil. And remember, there's always a bigger fish.